something that just stays with us and really speaks to us in a way that they only use it in God can. Uh, part of the complications, though, this being my third year, you know that I like to start with something a little bit lighthearted. And you may have noticed I'm starting to repeat my jokes every once in a while. In fact, my youngest son, Benny, said the joke I gave a few weeks ago, he already knew the punchline because he heard it too many times. So it's hard to come up with new jokes, but I got one for you this morning, all right? Uh, there was someone visiting family, and they were down in Kentucky. And they were visiting a church, and this was a big church, and they had one of those live nativity scenes. You know, with the camels and the donkeys and a big production that's put together. And this visitor was visiting this church, and everything looked appropriate, except he saw these three men who all were carrying these, these canvas hoses, and they seemed to be wearing these, these fire helmets. And this man was just really confused about what was going on. He finally went and asked one of the members of that church down in Kentucky what was going on. The lady said, you Yankees, you never read your Bible, do you? The man was a little bit offended by this, and he assured her, well, of course he reads his Bible. And she said, I don't think so. So she grabbed her Bible and started rifling through it until she found the passage in the Bible. She said, look here, Yankee. It says that three wise men came from afar. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of a bummer, right? You get it? The fireman come from afar, King James <laughs> Grace and peace to you from God the Father, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. I promise to keep this short and sweet because the, the, the true... The true gift we have this morning comes from our choir. And before you leave this morning, I hope each and every one of you will thank the members of our choir. Thank Rick uh, Kennedy. We'll thank everybody that's involved in putting this production together because they have put hours into this. A lot of love and a lot of dedication going to the glory of God. But this is the Christmas season. And I love this season because I see many visitors, I see many family with us. Christmas is that season of family. It's a season of everybody getting back together. And I love the passage that we read in the gospel just a few seconds ago. Do you remember what Emmanuel means? God with us. And I think that's one of the most important messages for us to remember this Christmas season. That God wanted to be with us so much. That God has always been with us. If, if you look at the Bible since the beginning of time in the Garden of Eden, God's presence was there with Adam and Eve. God always wanted to be with us. You think of it, the rest of the scriptures. Think of Moses and God coming to Moses in the burning bush and, and leading God's people by the pillar of fire and the, the cloud um, by day. God constantly trying to get our attention, telling us, I am with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. God wanted to be with us so much that he took on our flesh. He took on our weaknesses as a human. And we know that humanity comes with the weaknesses. And God went through all the temptations, all, all the trials, and all the, the tribulations of life because he wanted to show us just how much he loves us and he wants to be with us. Matthew tells us, when Jesus says, wherever two or three are gathered, I'm there in your midst. As the kids that came forward just a little bit ago, those said, God is somewhat invisible, and so is God's presence and God's Holy Spirit. That's, that's the challenge that we have. I don't think we ought to think about that. God is with us. But he's with us right now. He's in our presence. I saw a pastor once put a chair up in the middle of the Synod Assembly business workings of the Lutheran Church, and the chair was meant to represent Jesus' presence in that space. How often do we do that? We remind ourselves, God is with us. Jesus is with us. This Christmas, with family and with friends, invite the Lord into your lives. The peace love and the joy of this season. May I lift your hearts. May Jesus' peace that passes all understanding 
find you this Christmas and be with you. Amen? Amen. Amen.